Hi everybody! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the steps learners will take to log into the Learner Portal and complete their online assessment. This video assumes you have either a workshop or a class set up with linked assessments, ready for learners to enrol into. If you do not meet these requirements, I recommend watching previous videos annotated on screen now. I'm here on my test learner's contact profile and I need to set them up as a user. To do so, mouse over Actions and choose Create as User. Enter a username and select the user role. Then press Submit. Now we need to return to the contact page. Search for the learner's name in the search bar in the top right and choose them from the results. Once that's done, mouse over Actions once again and select either Enroll in Workshop or Enroll in Qualification, depending on which type of course you have set up your assessments for. Follow the process until you have completed enrolling the learner. I've now completed enrolling the learner and have received login details to my inbox. Log out of Accelerate via the user panel in the top right corner. Now. Log in using the learner account details you should have received in your inbox. When a learner first logs in, they will see any course announcements on the right, their enrolled course or courses in the top left, and any assessments that need completing underneath. We can either click on the assessment here to begin completing it, or click on our course. Clicking our course will take us to the course overview page. From here, we can view the Assessments tab down the left. Now, we can choose the assessment, which will bring up the Assessment Overview page. This section displays familiar information which we have set up during the Assessment Management and Authoring steps. To begin the assessment, click this button in the top right. The list of questions will display down the left-hand side. Learners can move between questions using the sidebar by clicking on each question. They can also filter questions using this drop down at the top. From here, it's simply a matter of answering the question, clicking save and clicking next. If the learner accidentally closes the window or navigates away, each question which has been saved will be remembered. A thin progress bar will also display across the top of the page right underneath the coloured header bar. These four questions in section 1 represent the four online quiz question types we can have. Single choice, multi-choice, short answer, and gap text. Once all questions have been completed, the coloured button in the bottom right will read Submit Assessment. A confirmation box will appear, and finally, the student will be notified that their assessment has been submitted. Click the Back to Overview button, and then click the company logo in the top left to take us back to the Learner Portal homepage. The assessment that's just been completed will now no longer display in the Assessments To Do section. It can be viewed in the Assessments Completed section instead. In summary, this video has demonstrated how learners will log into the new learner portal and complete their online assessments. The next video will teach you how to mark an assessment.